What's up guys, you have Chris here. So here's one teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. It's got 84 trace minerals and elements to it. I dissolved just one teaspoon in some boiling water and uh, chilled it off with two cubes of ice. Um, it's good for electrolytes. It's very healthy for you. What I've noticed in my videos that it's not about quality, quantity, it's about quality and moderation. You, I could eat more that way, but it should be good to try. Okay, so here's one packet dissolved in about 8 fluid ounces. It should be about 16 ounces, but it should be alright. This is uh, celery powder juice. It has about 1,300 milligrams of potassium, which is good for your heart and everything. But uh, have it once a day. Should be good to try. Okay, so what we have here is two scoops of wheatgrass powder, organic. Doesn't taste bad for the health benefits. Good for uh, intestines and digestion. But uh, it's good for you. Should be good to try. What's up, guys? Chris here. So here's four sheets of already seaweed. You know, swallow down some water. Good iodine for you. Should be good to try. Guys, uh, Chris here. So here's one bulb of garlic, some cut up ginger, one whole bulb, one onion, and four red jalapeno peppers from the garden. Should be good to try. So guys, Chris here. So here's some pineapple sage. Just dropped a leaf. Be right. Pineapple sage there. So I haven't had lemon balm in a while. The plant's pretty big out there. There's about four plants in a row that are full. The lemon balm, part of the mint family. Not sure what type of basil this is, but it smells good. But uh, should be good for you. And then some Greek oregano, quite a bit there. Once all this food or herbs are done, then I'll eat the vegetables. We got some celery. I'll eat the leaves and the celery. And then some collard greens, Georgia, and I'll give some the pumpkin. So some stems there should be good to try. Then over here we have some rosemary, another mint family, I'm pretty sure. Some nice rosemary, and this is what I use to clean from the leaves from the stems. So all those herbs I just showed you. And over here we've got two bags so two large ziploc bags of lemongrass they were frozen it's been cooking for about an hour and 30 minutes i'm gonna go for another 30 minutes about two hours i'll let it cook it's got a good tint to it good color and uh, put some honey and lemon juice with it drink it throughout the week should be good to try okay so here's the rosemary tea with the stems of the herbs and uh, four lemons and some honey should be good to try. Then the, the lemongrass tea with some honey and four lemons. I cooked it for about an hour and 50 minutes. Nice glit tint to it. Should be good to try. Drink it out through the week. What's up guys? Chris here. So the, sp the spirulina is best with fiber food. So eat something. What I just did and have it not on an empty stomach. So that's that. Two scoops. Turmeric, I just did one large teaspoon, so a large teaspoon with some honey. Probably put some black pepper in there. Green tea, seven tea bags, and some honey. Uh, seven large scoops of chamomile flowers, quite a bit there. Health benefits are there, not that much, but should be good to try. What's up, guys? Chris here. So here's some ochre leaves. Nice big, they're wilting, they've been here for about an hour and a half, but nice big ochre leaves. We cut the stem and use them, but I'm going to eat the leaves. These are the extra big ones. I'm going to make tea with this. All the okra is too big. I only ate a few that I could were edible. I'm going to blend these, see how they go. This is from the first harvest. A bunch of okra ends, make tea with that. And then, like I said, I'm going to blend these and see how it goes. Guys, here's the okra blended up. Battery's low, malfunction in the battery. All right, guys, I'm going to let you know how it goes. All right, guys, here's the okra tea that I showed you in the video. Nice tint to it. Good for diabetics, blood sugar, 
the lungs, the brain, everything. Very good for you. It's supposed to have it raw, but I didn't have a choice. This was just a scrap. Should be good to try. All right, for the majority of the okra, I blended it for about 35 to 40 minutes. There's too much of the, the bark or the skin of it. So what I'm doing here is I added water and then I'm cooking it a little bit, making tea. And then I'm going like, to try to strain it the best I can. It's an experiment. Should be good to try. All right, guys. This is the finished product of the okra blended tea. It worked. I was able to strain all the solids or the skins. I'm just saying to myself that it's very strong. Did you know that okra is the same family as aloe vera, the slime, same thing? But uh, I just drank the other okra tea. It was good. But this, this is very strong. Should be good to try. What's up guys, Chris here. So here are four sheets of nori seaweed. Good iodine for you. Vitamin B12. Over here we have some chopped up garlic, one bulb, one chopped up onion. The rest of my ginger, so we'll need to get some more, but some ginger. And for tonight I'm going to do Tabasco peppers. Very juicy. They were frozen, I just freeze them. Should be good to try. Alright guys, so two steam bags of broccoli. A bowl of blueberries. And seven tea bags of green tea. Should be good to try. What's up guys, Chris here. So here are five scoops of chamomile flowers from Egypt. One teaspoon, large teaspoon of turmeric and honey. And then two scoops of spirulina powder. Should be good to try. Guys, <clears throat> Chris here. So here are three onions, red, six bulbs of garlic cut in half, and five jalapeno peppers. I'm going to put some lemongrass in there too. This holds about a gallon or two or a half. You fill it up all the way. I'm going to boil all this up. This should cut down on the smell and good for pesticide. Spray my collard greens. i got a pest out there, but should be good to try. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I couldn't resist. Instead of just doing the collards and the kale, we'll just do the whole garden, or most of it. All right, so I added some lemongrass here and there. I cut about seven garlic bulbs, so you need to get some more. And then three onions and about four jalapenos with some lemongrass. I have about 15 bags of mint, about four or five different varieties mixed into bags. So I'm going to cut this in half, use half and half in each kettle, so you get a gallon and a half in about four gallon jug or pot, and we'll make some good pesticide, put some dish soap in there, should be good to try. What's up guys, Chris here. So it's been cooking for about 45 minutes, I might go two hours. So nice boil there, all the ingredients I showed you. So usually... The garlic and the onion, wait, well, my parents don't like it. So I put the lemongrass and the mints in there and it seems to deodorize it, which it does. But uh, 45 minutes, come along good. When it's done, I gotta strain it. I just stir it sometimes, and but uh, it's good. Should be good for the garden. So spittle bugs and then some type of, I did find the name of the insect on my collard greens but they are pests and then on a flower perennial it's called an assassin bug and they're predators so that's good i won't spray that one but all right guys all right guys so i cooked it for one hour that seemed to be enough on high heat the right way to do it is to blend everything and then pour, put it in the pot and then put boiling water and let it steep overnight but in Florida, we have lots of rain, so we can't wait for that long overnight. So we got to get to it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I just strained. I'll show you what the big pot looks like. So what we'll do is pour it in this one. It's about a gallon. Then we'll pour it in here through that strainer and then this one. And then we'll put in the pressure sprayer. 
What's up guys, Chris here. So I just came the, got in the garden. I, I, this is uh, four lemongrass plants. Uh, three large and one medium. So I'm going to put it in a bag and freeze it. Give some to neighbors and have it for myself. Quite a bit there. I have four more to do. Should be good to try. What's up ladies and gentlemen, Christopher here. Alright, so all eight lemongrass plants have been cut back. Not to the point of where they'll die or struggle to regrow, but uh, they do uh, shade lots of other plants, so it's good to bring some sunlight into the garden. I always feel comfortable when I cut my lemongrass like this. I cut this about three times, so, so this is the second batch, eight plants for the first time, for the second time. Quite a bit here. I'm going to bag it up, freeze it, should be good to try. Alright guys, so I'm just making some tea. These are just the leftover scraps I have here from the lemongrass. So what I'll do is I'll... I'm trying to get some stevia out of the garden, starting to bolt, but tons of stevia out there, which has a sugar, and uh, should get some, but... Alright guys, just making some tea, put some lemon and honey with it, should be good to try. Alright guys, so I'm just having some apple cider vinegar, raw and filtered organic. I've almost killed the whole gallon. It's usually filled up about that much. It's a little too much, but helps with the toxification of sugar intake and mineral buildup in the body. But uh, drink it with a straw. I do gargle with water after because it's not good for the teeth. And also, if I have seaweed, this goes to the stomach and creates a lot of acid and helps digest or absorb or digest vitamin B12, which seaweed nori is high in vitamin B12. So. Just a thought.